Hey, rallying the delegates on day three of the Democratic National Convention, we had thousands there putting their hope into the Kamala Harris Tim Walls ticket. Chad Blair is live at McCormick Place, the Chicago Convention Center for Morning Beat. Good morning to you, Chad. Good morning, Grace, from Chicago. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, you know, I was watching last night, and you can't help but be reminded that this is the reason the Obamas are the rock stars in the Democratic Party. If you like them or you don't like them, they are gifted at giving that speech. Oh, it was stunning. You know, as the night built towards Michelle and Barack coming on, more and more people came in, more and more people crowded the, the chairs, the arenas. I was in the nosebleed section, by the way, but I could see everything. And then when Michelle Obama came on, she had such a command of the room. I mean, that place, that's where the Chicago Bulls play, right? That's where they won all those championships. It's like the Stan Sheriff Arena to the, to the 10th power, but it was so quiet when she went quiet and you could hear that proverbial pin drop. That's how much of a command that she has. I was really reminded again of their ability, both Barack and Michelle Obama, to send a message, hers being do something. What was that like to be on the floor when she got that crowd to chant that with her? Yeah, you know, I'm a journalist, and I had to be careful to be nonpartisan, but it was amazing to hear all these people around you go, do something, do something. And the next morning when I was at the Democratic breakfast, that theme was carrying on. The Democrats from Hawaii were talking about the same thing, saying that's the same message. And by the way, that line about Donald Trump and black jobs in the White House, wow, just killed. It was probably the biggest line out of the convention so far. Not to be outdone, her husband up right after her, also with a strong <laughs> message as well. I thought what was so touching is that he compared um, Michelle's mom, his mother-in-law, who just passed away, and then his own maternal grandmother, and who, of course, we all know from Hawaii that Barack Obama lived with, as well as his grandfather. One woman black, one woman white, but very similar values, very hard workers, integrity, taking care of their families. And he made that connection, which I think is ultimately the message that the Obamas are trying to get across it. This is a large group. This is a group of people that shares a diverse background that's going to have to come together and work hard if they're going to defeat Donald Trump and J.D. Vance in November. And definitely a message of unity. Chad, they've had so much momentum on the Democratic side in the last couple of weeks. Do you think this will last for the next 76 days to the election? Is it 76 or 77? I'm starting to forget. You know, every ticket comes out of a convention with a bump, but this bump has already started. You're seeing the Harris Walls numbers increase nationally. But I'll tell you, even the Democrats were acknowledging, including the Obamas, this is going to be a close race. And the message, among others, was get out and vote. We can't just do this sitting at home. We have to get off our rear ends and go register and turn out. And for the delegate breakfast that happened just this morning, what was that like? Well, Maisie Hirono and Jill Takuda, some of our folks in Washington, were two of the speakers this morning. And what they emphasized more than anything was how refreshing it is to have a, a ticket in Tim Walls uh, and, and Kamala Harris, as well as Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, that sort of reflect the diversity of America. And that was something for them, coming from a diverse population like Hawaii, that you don't always see that in other communities across the country. And so it was reverberating in the room. Um, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. These people, these Democrats, are motivated. They feel the mojo, and they think they can win. All right, you can read more about Chad's journey for, on civilbeat.org. You can also text 66866 to get the newsletter. Chad, much more to come on the next two nights of the DNC. The biggest names are going to be coming up. All right, thank you, Chad. That's right. How about that suit, huh? Yeah, I know. Looking good, Chad. Looking good. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks, Chad.